J.M. Irving Books. Hey guys, it's your boy J.M. Irving. Yes, I am back. It has been a minute since I posted here. As you can see by the title, I'm going to be talking about where I've been, what I've been doing, and more importantly, uh, what I've been reading. So let's go ahead and jump right into that. So the last time you guys saw my face was over two months ago. And the reason why I haven't been posting is one, because I got sick, what the doctor said was COVID, and it really took a toll on my body. I couldn't read. I couldn't really write. I was bedridden for about two weeks, and I had to still keep walking because my, my family was making sure that I did that because, you know, when you get sick like that and it's like respiratory, you want to be, and like your body starts to kind of like get break broken down and like your muscles and stuff like that trying to like, you know, getting affected. You want to make sure that you keep moving, and so that's what they did, and I didn't feel like it at times, but I thank God for um my family i thank god for the prayer i thank god just for him for jesus for just like stepping in and making sure that i was you know i, I was healed from it and that i didn't die from it and i know people that have i knew people that, that have died from it and so i just thank god that um i'm still here today and i'm very humble to be here to be able to share my love for books and writing and stuff like that and um and i'm trying to make this a sad video but i'm just thanking god and giving him praise but um going forward um i did published a book recently on the 27th of February. It is called Mr. Postman, and it is an action-packed thriller with twists that you won't see coming. So here is the cover for the book, uh, for my book off Amazon. It's on Amazon and Barnes & Noble, and I'm working on getting it in the uh, Houston and Lubbock, excuse me, the Houston Barnes & Noble store and the Lubbock uh, Barnes & Noble store in the mall. And so if you live around there, be looking out for that or you can go ask them for it and they should give you be able to uh, order a copy or um, about in a few weeks, it should be there. So be looking out for that. But this is the paperback version. Here's the back of it. And um, I want to give you a little synopsis of it real quick. I'm going to show you the hardcover too. This is, this is going to my auntie and the other one's going to be going to uh, someone that ordered off of TikTok. And if you and they ordered signed copies, if you want a signed copy, um, I'll put all the stuff down below. And you can just follow me on TikTok. I have a video on it as well. And you can look at that. So um, the synopsis is very quickly is, is surrounded by the story surrounded by a woman named Veronica Shepard. And it starts off, she's 18 years old and her boyfriend named Danny Walters is, uh, he turns out to be the postman killer. So the postman killer is someone that's been killing victims. Um, at this point, he's got, he's up to, um, excuse me. 20 victims and then he kills his parents and so it's, it's it's revealed that he is a killer she's running from him in the opening scene and uh luckily she she survives and but he and he's put in jail and then he commits suicide after confessing something that is very that 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 she did not expect and um and then news comes out that haunts her later on and so 20 years later she's married to a new her new husband named jacob shepherd or Jake, and she has a new daughter named Megan, and so she's kind of living her life. She's writing a documentary about what she went through, and she's she's excited about that. And then, um, uh, very early on, uh, someone, um, excuse me, uh, one of the survivors is uh, uh, murdered in cold blood, and so it's like, okay, is that? And this Danny really did what's going on. And so that's kind of like the, like the, you know, the, the premise of the story. And it's really, really good. It was a fun thing to write. If you love uh, things like Natasha Preston books, if you love just anything really like thriller and things with good twists, um, you are really enjoying it. You really enjoy it. And cause it, like, I'm not just saying it's just because it's my book. I'm going off what people have said and how they loved it and stuff like that. So um, now I'm going to show you what is currently on my TBR and my most recent purchases. So this book has been on my TBR for a little while. I was reading it kind of while I was sick. I was trying to read it, but then I just, like I said, I couldn't really read that much. Uh, but it is very good. It jumps back and forth between time periods and things like that. If you're not really into that, um, I would still say, can I give it a give it a shot? Um, I, heard, I heard mixed reviews about it, but me personally, I really enjoy it. It's a short read and I cannot wait to finish it. So um, it's called Sometimes I Lie by Alice Feeney. I will put all the links and all the, their, um, excuse me, all the links and stuff for the information on this book down below and then this is um 
this is what I'm reading currently. It's called The Paris Apartment by uh, Lucy Folly. It just came out this year and it is a very, very good book. It is a slow burn. Um, it kind of gets you, you know, seeing like, like it's a lot of character building in it. And um, if you're patient enough, you will really be able to love it and get through it. And so it centers around a woman named Jess and uh, she's broken alone. She just lost her job. So she's moving with her stepbrother named Ben and he's not as excited as she wants him to be. Um, and she kind of just shows up abruptly. And, but when she gets there, he's no longer, he's nowhere to be found. And, um, you know, her, his, his, um, excuse me, his neighbors are kind of like, you know, a little sketchy and they're not really friendly. And so, Things are kind of trying to see like what happened to him, or you know, how much did his neighbors hate him? Um, you know, like what's what's going on here because she can't she can't find him, and he and he left his wallet, his phone, and it's kind of like you know what's going on with Ben. So that's that story. It's really good. Like I said, it's a slow burn, and I would really suggest just trying to read it because you know a lot of stories deserve slow burns, and then some stories need to just get straight to the point. This one, I think, it deserves to have a slow burn because you get because it has different point of views, and it's very important to see who all is there and kind of see like it kind of gets you kind of like worked up a little bit because you're like, okay, that person is uh, that person knows what happened. Oh no, this person knows what happened, and it's kind of like you know. Uh, uh, this person has something to do with it or this person has something to do with it but then by the next chapter you have a totally different you know conclusion so uh on to the next book <laughs> you see how excited i got and so this one is called lock the doors by vincent ralph and one of my first videos here on jim irving books is um from his first uh debut book is called uh, 14 ways to die and so this book is really really good and um it's really good. I haven't read it yet. <laughs> it, it, I read the synopsis and it's so good. And um, it centers around a guy. He, uh, him, and his family. They moved to um, a new place, and um, and then his neighbor is kind of sketchy and things like that. And um, like I said, I'll put all the all the stuff down below so you can read the synopsis yourself. But he, you know, he kind of seems something kind of sketchy about his neighbors, and you know, kind of like that ordeal. But it's it's just really really good. And like his first book was good, so I know this this one's going to be even better because I've heard good reviews on it. And that just kind of make me, that just kind of confirmed to me that, hey, like, you know, I made a right choice just picking it up kind of blindly. Uh, but it's it's so good. Like, I, I can't wait to jump into that. And then my last purchase, my last most recent purchase is, uh, I don't know why my, my cat's got my tongue. But my last most recent purchase is um, You'll Be the Death of Me by Karen McManus. You've probably seen this all over uh, Bookstagram, TikTok, or whatever. But um I still have yet to read One of Us is Lying, and I did not put that in this video uh, because it's been on my TBR for a long time, and I'm kind of embarrassed by it, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> but uh, those are my most recent purchases. Those are the books that are on my TBR and what I'm currently reading, and then also to my book, Mr. Postman, um, being published. And, like, I'm just so glad to be back, guys, because... Uh, it's been a long time coming. I wanted to make sure that I was 100% before I returned. And so um, if you guys have any questions for me about my books and what it is that I have planned for my writing career, uh, what I love to read, you know, uh, things that, you know, you wanna, if you want to give kind of like some suggestions or uh, recommendations, I would really appreciate it because I am wanting to kind of like go outside of like my normal genres of like, you know, of sometimes like romance and thrillers and stuff like that. I want to kind of go outside of that. So if you have any suggestions or recommendations, let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching and have a blessed day. JM Irving Books. Write. Grow. Inspire.